Hi, my name is Dr. Helmut Kay, and I welcome you to Micro 130 Fall 2015 Edition at Leeward Community College. This short-ish video will kind of show you the ins and outs of this course, show you where to get the content, and maybe give you some tips and tricks to succeed. So, without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so now that my face is out of the way, let's uh, let's do this. All right, so to get to Laulima, it's laulima.hawaii.edu. Don't put the www for some reason it rots you somewhere else. And then just over in this corner, log in using your UH credentials. All right, so that's your same as you would access your UH email address. And then for us, we are grouped into this one here. So it's called uh, Micro 130 Group Fall 2015, and that's both sections are stuck in here together. And we are a big class. We are going to be Ooh, probably about 80 students together, right? So if you feel a little cramped, uh, just be patient and uh, make sure we respect everyone's space. This is a little note over here just to kind of get you uh, acquainted with the course as people start to register throughout the week. Um, some people will not quite get caught up right away. So you're going to see this for uh, about a week or so, and then this thing will disappear starting next week. Um, what you should do is read all the announcements. There's an announcement over here on the left that has something to do with the textbook. Some of you want to save some money in the textbook. That's a pretty good announcement to read. Uh, read the syllabus completely by clicking on this link. It'll take you to the syllabus. Oops, I need to change that link. And then watch this video. And so right now this says spring 2015, but right now the video that I'm making will be this video. Right? So you'll see all that stuff uh, for the next week or so. Um, but this is not really the important stuff. We want to go to the course, right? So some of you will say, how do I get to the course? Well, right here in big red letters where it says click here to go to the homepage, click there. And this is what you're going to see for most of the semester, right? So once again, there's my contact information. You can call, but I really prefer emails. Right? Emails are the best way because I like to read my content. It's uh, much easier for me. And this way, um, I also don't forget. Right? Sometimes when we talk about things, I forget. Can't Skype me. That's uh, my Skype name. And uh, the Skype icon should show up here, but for some reason it doesn't. Maybe I need to update it or something. But if you just click on that link, uh, Skype should open up, and then you can Skype me. If you would like to read text message alerts, um, just text at MICR 130 www to this number, 81010. And then uh, you'll get some sort of text message back and something. I forget exactly what happens. Uh, if you're confused by that, just click on here and it'll give you a PDF on the actual instructions. And every now and then when I send out an email announcement, um, I'll send a text message saying you should check your email. That's more or less what's going to happen. Right? In very rare cases, I might text you directly if something pertinent is important going on, uh, but probably not. Um, and I know some of you guys like to see text message alerts as opposed to email alerts, right? Uh, syllabus is right here. This is, oh good, I updated this one, right? So you should be able to see the syllabus, and it's a good idea to to read the syllabus, right? It's uh, I spent time writing this thing, well, a little bit of time writing this thing. So it's a good idea to read it, and I would read it. Oops, uh, uh, but ignore this okay so I changed how I do this so ignore this okay I'm gonna try to change that up before I post the video so my, you might not even see that here is uh, the most important part so our, our here's our schedule uh, module 1 or sorry our course is broken down into 12 modules uh, module 1 starts on August 24th that's our first day of classes and it'll end um, September 3rd and then module 2 starts September 4th to September 10th etc 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 pretty straightforward you should know what you're doing every single day of the semester um, to actually get that at the content just click on the links here All right, so when you click on module 1 you'll see uh, notes All right, so let's do this one here so when you click on the notes uh, you'll be able to follow along with the notes and the notes look like oops I should have opened the PDF it'll open much faster but I know some of you guys like to type, right? So just um, let's do it anyways. There we go. All right, so this is what the notes look like. It's the course notes, right? This is the content. Uh, all the content will be derived from the course notes as well as the course animations, and I'll explain those in a second. Now, what's up with these blanks, right? Well, you can fill in the blanks by watching the videos. So the PowerPoints are over here. Um, you can have it non-narrated, and this will be in PDF format. Um, so if you would prefer, you can just sit there and read through it like this, right? And it's pretty standard kind of stuff, everything we're going to talk about, right? But if you'd like to, you can click on the narrated PowerPoints. And the narrated PowerPoints, and that should open up, oh, I guess not. It um, will give you a 
the narrated lecture, right? And the lecture is an MP4 format, which means that you can download it if you choose to and watch it on your iPad, your iPhones, your Androids, your whatevers you want, right? So um, this way, we can be together all semester long. And then as you go through the notes, then you can start to fill in the blanks. Animations are down here. All right, so there's three animations in this case, and then there's a little animation guide. And the animation guide just tells you what it is about each animation that uh, I'd like you to pay attention to. Because sometimes the animations go into a little bit more depth than I would like you to know. Right? But they're over here. So stuff over here, that's quiz material and exam material. Stuff over there, that's quiz material and exam material. Right? So those are the main things, your basic content throughout the semester. Uh, let's go back to the home page. This will go to our splash screen. So let's click on this. Uh, notice our first module runs for a little bit more than a week. It's about 10 days or so. And the reason for that is there's going to be a lot of roster upheaval over the first week. Some of you will look at this and say, holy crow, this is too much work. I'm going to drop it. Some of you will uh, decide that, or some of you will enter the course late, right? So there's going to be a lot of roster movement. So the first module runs a little bit longer, but after that, every module runs one week. So be used to that pattern, okay? Oh, hi, Bradley. Uh, so be used to that pattern, right? One week is all you get. Now, um, I recommend that you start your um, module process early in the week. So get your, watch the lectures, fill in the notes, and then get ready for the quizzes. Now, quizzes and exams are open book, open notes. That's right, open book and open notes. However, if you, they are timed. So if you come and try to look at your notes throughout all your quizzes and especially the exams, you will pretty much just be flipping through your notes the whole time and you're not going to do very well. So prepare for them like they're closed book exams and then you can use your notes to help you out. And ideally you want to use your notes on less than, I would say, 25% of the questions. All right. So that's the way I would handle this class. Uh, if you wait right until the end, sometimes things get in the way. Sometimes you're going to miss quizzes. Sometimes you're going to forget. All right. This, by the way, is not a Sunday. Right. Most class online classes end on Sundays. This is not a Sunday. Right. So just be aware of that. Right. Make sure you fall into the habit of a regular routine. All right. Speaking of quizzes, um, let's change our view. So then you can see more what you guys will see. All right? So here are our quizzes. Uh, there are no quizzes yet because our first quiz will open on uh, August 24th. But when it's open, you will get to take the quiz. Each quiz you can take three times. I was going to say you should read the syllabus and find out, but I'll just tell you. You can take each quiz three times, um, and I just keep the high score. Now, they're drawn from a pool of questions. So you should take the quizzes three times every single time. Okay, even if you score 40 out of 40 in your first quiz. Why do you ask? Well, let me tell you why. Uh, the exams are drawn, or the questions from the exams are drawn from the same pool of uh, quiz questions, right? So the same pool randomly is drawn for the exams. So if you do the quiz three times, you see the greatest opportunity to get exposed to as many quiz questions as possible. Okay, so then this way you have a lot of study material. So make sure that you uh, you study the uh, quizzes after you complete them and then use that to help you for the next quizzes and then ultimately for the exam. Right? So that's the best way to go and uh, go about it. Oh, hi, Destiny. Um, now, what if you have problems with quiz questions? Some of them are not easy. Some of them are quite hard, right? Well, there's two things you could do. One is you could email me. Right? But emailing me is kind of irritating because I'm in a respond to your email and then someone else is going to email me probably the same question I'm going to respond to that All right so what my response will be is post it on the discussion board so let's go to the discussion board here on the discussion board we have this thing here problems with quiz questions All right so if you have a problem just post a topic here right so you say module one problem and then say hey guys I have a problem with this certain question can someone help me and then you write the question and then this is what the choices were and it really helps the more information you put on here it really helps people figure it out and then I answered number D uh, because blah 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 right and then you just simply hit post Right, so why do it this way? Well, this way now everyone can see. Right? Now, what I like to do is I like to have peers interact with peers. So here I am coming along saying, hey, I got this question before, or I, never got, I didn't get this question, but I know the answer to it. So then what I would do then is hit a reply and say, 
A. The answer is C because blah 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 blah, right? And then you post. And then you would reply and say, hey, thanks for helping me, buddy, right? Or someone would say, the actions, answer is actually not C, it's B. And it's very common. I got confused as well because some of the questions are worded quite similarly. Some of them are a little bit challenging to understand, so make sure that we help each other out. And then when everything gets said and done and I say, oh, this is great, I come along with a, and I give you one of these. Boom, you are correct, sir, right? So then this way now, you can be confident that the answers that you're receiving are the correct answer. And in the event that the answer you're receiving is an incorrect answer, I'll come along and post and say, you know what, this is not quite right. It's actually this instead. And then I'll try to give my little explanation. Right? This way we're ensuring that we are all moving along the right way. But I do want you guys to answer each other's questions. It's all about learning and, and peer-to-peer -peer interactions are the best way to learn. I promise you that. So buy into this system. I want you guys to get into the habit of checking the discussion board all the time. Why do we ask? Maybe you're not asking that, but I'm going to tell you why. Right? Because uh, I want you guys to use the discussion board as ways to help each other out. Okay, So use it for quiz questions. You know, use it if you can't find content. Use it if you're having issues with it, this and that. Right? So use the discussion board. My uh, way to get you to check the discussion board is weekly discussion assignments. Right? So over here in these class discussions, we have graded discussions. That's right. These are for grades. Right, so there's three on here already, uh, one of which is super simple. You just simply copy-paste what someone wrote. Uh, this one here is your introduction. You can write something uh, nice and medium-sized. This one's on the longer side. This one's, oh, that's just a reply to my thing. Right, so you can just write a little thing about yourself. Share as little or as much as you want. It really doesn't matter, but it really does help me get an idea of who you are. Right, because, I mean, I've, not, I've never met Rita or Nalissa. But by reading this, you know, I see a little face to them now. I get a little bit about what I think is their personality through this, right? So it helps me interact with you guys a little bit better. It makes me feel like we're in a real class as opposed to this black box of internetness, right? Um, weekly discussions. So usually, I go usually about one per module. Uh, you're going to get these discussions, and the discussions are going to be unannounced. So check the discussion board all the time, okay? Get into that habit. Very easy points. The discussion assignments are simple points. Five, ten points easy, simply for reading and responding. And what I like to do is when I come log in, I hit discussion board, I click on recent topics, and over here it tells me everything that's been posted recently. Right? So you can look through this and see these, uh, this yellow line right there, or the, sorry, the yellow tag. That means it's new. I have, there's things in there I haven't read yet. This white one here are, uh, is old. There's things in there that I've read. So I can look at this and say, oh, I haven't read this one yet. I'll click on that. Uh, this one I've read, so I can ignore that. This one I haven't read yet, so I'll just click on that. Right? And every time any new things get added, uh, these things will change accordingly. So it's a very simple way. So when you log in, you should log in, discussion board, recent topics, see what's new. Right before you log out, just one more time, hit discussion board, recent topics. Right? It takes you, oh, on a slow internet connection, 10 seconds. Right? 10 seconds just to see what's going on, because you never know what you miss. Right? And when you have problems with questions, check the discussion board to see if your answer's on there, because many times your answer will be sitting right there for you, uh, or post it on the discussion board if it's not sitting there. Right? So it's the best way to try to get learning uh, to learn. That sounded terrible, but you know what I meant, right? Lastly, there's going to be a group project. And, you know, I think I will just uh, reveal details of the group project um, as it goes. Usually I start releasing details uh, at the end of the week, maybe towards the end of the first week. If you have friends in this class or if you live in certain areas, I will give you opportunities to form your own groups. There will be groups of three, by the way. So if you have, if there's more than three of you in this class together, well, you guys are going to have to decide how you want to split up. But... Um, you know, if you do have friends, you know, you can start to, you can form your own groups, right? And if you don't have any friends, I mean, we are all online, we're all over the place, right? So not a big deal. Uh, I will select groups for you. And then starting next week, uh, second week of classes, that's when I'll uh, assign the groups, okay? But I will send announcements out as we go along. Uh, announcements usually come fairly frequently at the beginning of the semester as things start to fill up, and then they start to slow down as things, as the semester starts to really get rolling, Okay. If you have any questions, I encourage you to post them on the discussion board. Um, otherwise, uh, I think this is the basic rundown of the class. I hope I didn't leave anything out. Oh, the testing centers. Oh, I almost did leave something out. 
So uh, all our exams have to be taken at proctored, exam, uh, proctored testing centers right, at one of the UH ones. And if you want to attend any of these testing centers, you do not need to do anything except call them to make appointments. Some of them require appointments. Some are drop-in, right? But make sure that you understand where your testing center is. Make sure you understand uh, the hours of the testing center and their protocols, okay? Some of them, they will all let you bring in notes. Some of them don't let you bring in tablets or laptops, right? So even though your notes may be on tablets and laptops, if they say no, then the answer is no, right? So you have to follow and abide by their rules, not my rules, okay? And they will be instructed, by the way, that it's their rules that's uh, uh, take precedent over my rules. All right. I know some of you don't like proctored exams, but unfortunately, it's uh, somewhat of a somewhat of a policy, and it's really the only time I know it's you doing the work. When you do go to the testing center, make sure to bring ID uh, and make sure to schedule accordingly. At any point, whether it's quizzes, whether exams, whether it's uh, assignments, if you have any issues that have slowed you down or have made things difficult, contact me. All right. Contact me early not later, right? Because you'll find that I'm fairly reasonable and uh, I try to be as accommodating as possible, right? So contact me and then we will work through it. Which when you don't contact me, that's when things become difficult. All right then, well, thank you for sitting there and paying, uh, watching this video patiently. Goodbye and have a great time. Uh, we hope to look, we look forward to a great semester. Milo says, good luck everybody. Now, for those of you in the wake of, uh, well, I guess what's gonna be Hurricane Kilo, Stay safe and stay dry, everybody. Have a great semester.